G'day guys, so I'm back here tonight, ready to get some more work done on the police car replica. Uh, I'm going to get ready to hopefully do the last part of painting, the two-tone, but first I've got to put on the hoist because there's a bit of work to do. It's like 9 degrees tonight, so perfect paint job weather. Come on, flat battery. Oh, no worries. So we got the car up in the air now. You can see on this side, this side is the like rock slider. I was doing like a sick off-road build with this car before I decided to do a police car one the wheels I had were too big and the tires rubbed on the guards and heaps of stuff I gave up so this is welded in a few spots along the rails so hopefully I'm going to get the grinder in there enough to cut it off because obviously I need to take that off and I figure I'll grind it before this is all painted black and is going to get ruined by sparks the other thing I want to do under here is if you heard before when I started it this car has a horrendous exhaust leak and I have no idea where it comes from now that I look at there's a big crack here so I do know where it comes from there's a big crack in the exhaust here that I have to weld up and that's from driving this car down the stages of the Canberra rally because they're all normal roads and doing a lot of bottoming out but like the best piece of road to drive it down was like the mine shaft which is this and yeah it was super fun to drive down all that stuff but I'll fix all that up now. Fix the exhaust leak, cut the rock slider off, take this other side skirt off while it's up here because it'll be easier to paint it later. And yeah, there's plenty of um, <laughs> scrapes and damage and stuff under here from doing jumps and that, which is what you do when you have a $130 car, but we'll get to fixing it. Upon closer investigation, what looks like a crack is actually a dribble, but there's a big hole here. I can fit my finger in it. I don't know how there's a hole on top of the exhaust. Normally it's the bottom where it rusts, but I think I'll actually pull the back box off to fix it. It's rusty. So there's that. That's a new one. I've never seen a hole in the top of an exhaust before. There's also a bit starting to come through here. This is going to be a shit fest to weld because it's like paper thin, so I'll try. It's not going to really be any better than it is now, but... Oh man, I was about to say, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's it's, it's so full of water, but you be right, weld it up, good to go. So I've just started welding that, and the fan in the back of the weld is broken, so this weld has lasted me like probably 10 years, it's done a lot of welding, so I can't really blame it. I was stuck a new fan in it, but I'm going to start cutting this off, because, yeah, I just want to get it painted, so I'll worry about the exhaust later, it'll just be very loud for now, fix the exhaust in a few days. So the line for the black is the top of the indicator down, so I'm going to sand all this bottom part. I'm just going to do the lower section while it's up here on the hoist, easier to reach, but I'll finish it off outside because I don't want to make too much dust inside if I can avoid it. So I skipped forward a little bit. I decided to do the masking in its own separate video because it would have been super long and I used like a little laser and stuff to do it so I thought it would deserve its own video. But car's in, masked up. I'm just going to finish cutting out the rest of the, like I've marked the pattern out, just going to finish putting the plastic on. Then I'm ready to start mixing up paint, which is going to be exciting. Alright, so I wasn't planning to actually paint this tonight, but the prep work's gone really well. So I'm just going to keep going with it. Unfortunately, there's no one else here tonight to be able to video from outside the booth. But I think by this point, everyone's seen me spray paint a car about a hundred times, so let's get on with it. It's going to be cool. I'm keen to see how this little pinstripe how nicely it pulls off once the paint's gone. Hopefully it doesn't pick up any paint with it, but we'll see. No going back now. Well, the first dust coat is on. I'm so freaking excited to see how it looks. Whoops. I had a bit of a mistake there where um, some of the plastic blew up and uncovered some of the white, but I didn't actually paint over it, so I added some extra tape, so that should be right. Other than that, it all seems like it's going okay. I'll let it dry for 10 minutes and go first wet coat, probably the only wet coat. <laughs> Alright, so I've done the last coat. If I'm honest, it's not the best job I've ever done, but it should be okay. I'm pulling off the pin striping while the paint's still wet to get the nice edges. It's looking pretty good. This side's not as good. Okay, so the uh, 
Car's been running in a bake cycle at 55 degrees for about half an hour. Normally before you start unmasking stuff, you wait till tomorrow, but I'm really impatient, I want to see what it looks like, so I'm gonna do it now, and just be careful not to touch any of the black, so wish me luck. <laughs> Uh, I should really not try and unmask too much of this tonight or I'm going to accidentally touch the paint and ruin it but I really want to see what it looks like or at least just unmask like a corner of it or something I'm trying to tear the plastic away so I'm only dealing with one little bit at a time <laughs> oh, that's going to be cool so I didn't screw anything up on masking it which is nice I was expecting a bit of this black overspray to come through the gaps where the paint like blows in underneath and along and up but there's a lot more of it than I was expecting like look at this area around the door there's like the nearest gap was down here the paint had to get in and then blow all the way up here and come out around the mirror this will all just like polish off pretty easily but I'm surprised at how far around the car it made it other than that everything looks good I noticed after when I was painting there's a bit of bog on the front here that the camera's not able to see that I forgot to sand because I'm a moron and then didn't notice it when I was wiping the car down somehow. So, uh, it's pretty pretty big, looks like it's got a big pimple now. So maybe I'll sand that and just paint the bumper, maybe I won't bother. There's a little bit of bleed through at the end here where it got under the tape, but like, it's pretty tiny and unnoticeable. Other than that, everything looks pretty good. There's more bleed through, freaking heaps of it. I chucked the lights on top so I can see what it looked like and put the tail lights in and yeah, I'm friggin' happy with that. So I think I'm gonna leave that video for now. The car looks friggin' awesome and I'm super happy with it. Um, next thing, I gotta start cutting vinyl stickers for all the characters and writing down the side. So, subscribe, like the video, etc. Make sure you keep up to date when the next video goes up. Shouldn't be too long now. It's gonna be friggin' cool once it's got all its lights and everything going. But I'll see you on the next video.